Hi, my name is Jade, and this is How to App on iOS, and I hope you're doing okay. Today, we're taking a look at a legendary recreation of the Dolby A noise reduction system called Type A by Audio Thing, and it's cool, so let's oge. So what exactly is the Dolby A noise reduction system? Well, back in 1965, the Dolby A was developed by Dolby Laboratories for use in analog audio tape recordings. Its main use was to reduce noise or hiss that you would get when recording to tape. Now, noise really wasn't a problem when the incoming signal was loud enough to bury it in a song, but it was in those quieter moments when the tape noise would really become apparent, and this was really annoying. Now, there were two parts to this unit, the encoder and the decoder. The encoder would take the input signal and using the four compression bands would raise the lower signals and high frequencies would be boosted and then noise would be added to that signal. Then the decoder would kick in, taking the sound with that noise and reduce the high frequencies and that noise for a much cleaner sounding experience. But of course, sound engineers, well, being sound engineers, <laughs> found out that by using the encoder, you could get more air and shimmer on vocal tracks, creating a more breathy and vibrant sound that later became known as the John Lennon effect. Also known as the vocal stressor mod or the Dolby trick, used by John Lennon and Quincy Jones and so many others, the trick was achieved by removing the Cat 22 card and lifting two of the resistors and you are ready for some airy vocals that would cut through any mix. So once again, our friends at Audio Thing have reproduced this awesome piece of gear on iOS as an AUV3 plugin. And on the App Store, it's currently $9.99 and it really does bring your vocals to life. It is also available on both PC and Mac from audiothing.net for $39 for a limited time, usually $59. Okay, so let's take a listen to a demo in AUM, so let's soge! Well, let's take a look at how this thing works. So I have a project open here in Logic. This is my Dread Circus song called The Fight. I've uh, selected the drum stack here and have added Type A as an effect. Let's open it up. So I'm going to play the drums clean and then we're going to add in the effect so you can hear that airiness and that vibrantness of the uh, high frequencies being added. Let's oge. Okay, let's talk about how this all works now. So firstly, you have a VU meter over here and you can control, uh, you can actually uh, monitor the input or the output for this VU meter. Nice callback to the original hardware. Up the top here, we have our factory presets. You can scroll down, there's a whole bunch of them. Audio thing always give you a whole bunch of factory presets. We have our user section here. You can see there's nothing in here. Let's create one of those to show you. You can hit the save button. We can name this whatever we want. We'll just call it demo, hit save. And now if we open up the preset bank and go to user, there's our demo. 
And here's our factory. Now I want to delete this. So we're going to go to our little bin icon here and hit OK. And now that is gone from our user bank. There is also a randomization dice here that you can select and, and just, you know, randomize the hell out of this thing. Plus, as always, there's a lock over here and you can go just say I want to select these two bands and the levels for both of these. Now, when I hit that randomization, those four are not going to move there. So that's really cool. If you want to unselect all of these, unlock them, you've got unlock all parameters. You can lock all parameters as well and do the same again to get rid of them. So there you go. There's the locking system that's in every audio thing app. You also have a soft clipper, compressor stereo link, oversampling. You've got, uh, you can copy and paste your presets. Uh, you can also zoom and scroll, change all that stuff and your brightness, contrast and all of that. Plus the manual is here if you would like to check that out. But let's talk about the meat of this, which is the four band multi compressor over here. So if we hit play on these drums, uh, you'll hear basically the, the sound coming through. Let's, I'm just going to go back over here and hit the init patch and bring up these levels of these four bands for you to hear. We'll uh, change the compressor a bit before we hit play. Okay, so we'll turn it off. As you can see, it goes off over here as well. So we'll turn this off and hit play. Now, if I hit this direct button, we are now only hearing the effect that is being added by these four multi-band compressors. So what exactly do these four multi-band compressors do? Well, let's turn them off so I can show you. So now they're all off and we're not hearing anything coming through. Now this first band is an 80 hertz low pass. Then we have, next up, we have an 80 hertz to 3 kilohertz mid-band. Next up is a 3 kilohertz high pass. And last but not least, is a nine kilohertz high pass. Now the three and the nine, they are overlapping each other. Now, if we hit this direct button, it's all gonna come back in together. So each of these bands have their own level down the bottom here as well. And these levels are actually uh, baked into the compressor. So it's a, it's a universal compressor. You've got your attack and your release. Let's take out the effect. So you can hear it gives it that, that whooshy, airy vibrance, brings up those highs, you can hear those cymbals, everything just sounds, and then you can hear that compression kicking in as well. Let's turn off all the bands again, because we have a noise down the bottom here, of course. Audio thing is always you know, putting in the noise to replicate that authentic sound from the original machine. Now remember, this is the Type A, this is the encoder. So normally this noise would come in here and, and this would then get decoded on the way out and that would get baked in and then you'd have this clearer sound, how I explained at the start of this. Now, of course, you've got an input and a mix. So let's bring all of this in with the noise again. We can mix this. We'll run through the presets and then we're going to take a look at this on vocals because that's where it really shines. We'll stop it, go back to the beginning.
Okay, let's take a look at some vocals, shall we? So we'll go down here, we'll have this main vocal track. I'm gonna get on here and solo this and we'll unsolo these drums. Now let's talk about this John Lennon effect, shall we? We're gonna start the vocal here. What is this John Lennon effect? So you can see I have type A added down here. I also have Xvox running on this vocal track as well, but let's open type A make this a little bit bigger so we can see what's going on. So what is the John Lennon effect that we've talked about in the beginning of this show? So it is actually keeping out these first two bands. It's skipping these two bands and only keeping the three kilohertz and the nine kilohertz high uh, over uh, overpassing each overlapping each other yeah the high passes at the end. And that's how that sound is attained. So we're going to have a listen to the vocal with this off. Down and out and always feeling tired Holding on to every single breath Waiting for an answer to a question Unanswered to overcome the impending dread Okay, so as you can hear, that, that's got that airiness, it's really bright sounding, and it's going to cut through the mix. So let's come over here, we'll unsolo, and we'll open up this whole uh, song here with all of the, the music in the background, and let's see how we go. So we'll start it back here a little bit, we'll turn it off for now, and we'll uh, then add the effect. So you may think that's really subtle, but it really does help to cut those vocals through. Let's go back and have a listen to it soloed once again so we can hear what these bands exactly are doing here. Yeah, I think this is, you know, now, can you recreate this with an, uh, a, a multi-band compressor? I think you can, but, you know, it's going to take a little bit of work to get that uh, that uh, the, the setting here for these particular EQs, yeah? I don't think you're going to hear the, the exact same thing, but this is nice and simple to attain this sound. And as I said, this sound has been used. Michael Jackson, on you know, a lot of his stuff, his vocals, this was used so many, so many artists. Let's have a listen again. And we're going to put on all the bands now. Hit play. Down and out and always so there's the effect tired. by itself. And this is the John Lennon effect. This is exactly what's being added here. Waiting for an answer to a question unanswered to overcome You can hear that compressor kicking in on this mid-band. But yeah, definitely when using vocals, these two bands really aren't needed because, you know, the, the, you want to add air to it and these two are where it's really happening. We can add some noise in there if we really want, but, you know, hey, <laughs> do you really want to? That's up to you. Let's hear it uh, just in solo mode. Down and out you might want to do that. Always feeling tired. Holding Maybe on to give it some texture. Every single breath. Waiting for an answer to a question. An answer to overcome the impending dread. I know I'm a fighter. I keep fighting. 
so one of the presets in here is actually the vocal trick. If we solo this and hit play now. Till the end, I'll always be a fighter. There's so much to defend. I know it's just another day. Don't let up. So that is Type A by Audio Thing, a nice little addition to the already incredible range of Audio Thing apps. It's currently $9.99 on the App Store and $39 on Mac and PC at the time of this recording. Are you enjoying the content I hear on the channel? Well, please let me know in the comments section below by hitting the like, doing the subscribe and ringing the bell to be notified of future videos and live streams. It really does help just like becoming a member or even a Patreon. All right, time for me to get out of here. So please remember to do the things that make you happy, that mistakes make you better, and we'll all rise together. Stay awake and let's ouge! <laughs> <laughs>